Hey y'all, uh, welcome back to Ostriff. Uh, y'all seem to be in, uh, enjoying this this one, uh, you know, based on the uh, view counts on the videos. I mean, double digit view counts. Who knew? Uh, but yeah, uh, so we're sitting here in in our little village, uh, and not much is happening, really. Uh, <laughs> of course, not much is happening. Um, we. Uh, We've got a farming operation up. We've got a fishing operation up. Uh, we've even got a granary and uh, with actual food stored in it. Uh, and we've got a town hall and we've even got a trading post. So, yeah, we've got we, you know, our, our little village here is a happening place. Uh, so what we're uh, working on here is uh, we need to get the uh, get some more uh, um, houses up uh, because we have a bit of a labor shortage and based on that labor shortage uh, we definitely need to uh, to have a few more uh, uh, you know residents right uh, anyway let's kick up the tempo here uh, we've got a uh, harvest underway here by the look of it. Uh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it is, I think. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got harvest underway. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create uh, some more fields here. Because we're getting the harvest done well into... Uh, you know, like well well before the end of the year here so uh, I'm going to add a couple more fields um, yeah like uh, so there's a field uh, and the, yeah it's not activated because I didn't activate it yeah uh, well I'm gonna add another field here come on Oh, come on. What the? There we go. Um, I'm thinking I might just need to replace my mouse. Uh, anyway, so there's a second extra field. And I think... Yeah, I think that'll be all the fields I, I, uh, I need. Now let's take a look here. Uh, so we've got a three crop rotation here with potatoes and buckwheat and our two crop and fallow. Now, uh, I kind of want a, a cash crop here uh, of some kind that we can actually do something with. But... Uh, well, what options have we got? Sunflower would be uh, sunflower would be good. Uh, so would wheat. Uh, both of these have a secondary uh, uh, operation to them. Uh, sunflower makes sunflower oil, which is a good export. Uh, wheat uh, obviously uh, allows us to feed uh, uh, animals as well. Uh, so I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to make a rotation here with wheat uh, and uh, wheat and hemp, uh, I think. Maybe. No, no, I'll just do wheat. So we'll do wheat there and fallow. And we'll do fallow here and wheat. Yeah, we'll do wheat. Um, right. And we will, of course... Oh, we have a messenger here. Let's uh, let's stop time while I mess with this. Uh, right now, activate, activate. Okay, yeah. So we'll have one more uh, crop being uh, planted each uh, season, uh, and that may or may not uh, cause us uh, trouble. Uh, anyway, uh, we've got a uh, messenger from Marifa. Offering hemp and demands sunflower. Hmm. Yeah, we can't really do a trade with that, so we won't. Uh, let's um, 
pick up the uh, tempo again. So our crop is in, and our uh, and now we have 1,700 buckwheat, and uh, we have 860 fish, and we have 2,100 potatoes. So we can uh, we can feed our people for a little while here. And notice that they're not complaining about variety at the moment. We definitely need more variety. And at some point, I'm going to set up a... Uh, when we have more more people in the village, I'll set up a cow shed and a few things like that, and then we can get some. We can get milk, and we can get beef, and then and, and things like that. Because we really need a fairly substantial agricultural industry here. Um, okay, so and we've got a uh, another house up here. Uh, so if we look here, uh, we've got some people that are unemployed, and that's okay. Um, because that means we have laborers uh, when the, uh, the work is uh, available. Uh, but I think we've got enough people now in the town where we can keep the, uh, the, work, the builders operating. And uh, what's this? A warehouse. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, building a warehouse. Definitely want that. I'm going to queue up a few more... A few more uh, uh, houses here. This may seem like overkill. Whoops, uh, but it really isn't. Uh, is we we need one house per family, and eventually, when the uh, population grows enough, and you know the town's been going long enough. We'll start having families having children, and the population will grow that way as well. Now, note that we can we can turn off uh, immigration, uh, and that uh, that we might do later when the population gets big enough. But uh, I think really what we want is uh, probably a population of two or three hundred to uh, really have production working well. Um, but I think. Um, yeah, we're not quite to the point where we can fire the fishermen, but I don't think I will fire the fishermen this year. Uh, so I think we have enough labor now, so yeah, we should be okay. Uh, so we've got lots of trees here, so we don't have to worry about the, uh, the forestry running out of, uh, products there. Um, right. Okay, we got another house going up here. Uh, so what uh, what should I plan for here? Well, obviously, I've been planning a block a grid type plan here for the uh, houses, just because it's fairly central. Uh, ultimately, I think the uh, living area is going to grow down into here as well. But... Uh, what sort of, of uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, okay, yeah, we got plenty of carts still. Uh, I'm wondering what sort of uh, plan uh, I should go with here. Uh, well, okay, we've uh, manufactured another uh, house. Uh, right, so uh, that should get us another uh, family move in. Uh, that's a thing with the uh, game. Uh, you don't generally have to work too hard to get uh, settlers to come into the town. So it's not really that big of an issue uh, to have, uh, have settlers uh, coming. Uh, now, uh, I've actually uh, played quite a few uh, games of uh, Ostriv over the uh, year or so that I've had it, uh, you know, from the, you know, the beta versions. And uh, the game has gained, you know, it was pretty decent uh, right from the start, uh, you know, in the Alpha 1 days. But uh, since Alpha 2, and uh, we're at patch 4 of Alpha 2 on this, this here, uh, since then, the game's depth has really, uh, really increased. It, it and it, clearly there's more planned because we have health and education uh, that aren't uh, 
that aren't um, uh, implemented yet. Uh, and that's uh, that's quite uh, that's going to add quite a bit more uh, depth to it. Uh, okay, and uh, yeah. Oh, I wanted to uh, check on water. How are we doing for water? Uh, yeah, we're doing okay for water. Uh, so I'm thinking the uh, ultimately. Oh, we have a messenger from here again. Uh, yeah, they're still not offering anything that we can do anything with. Uh, right. So uh, let's uh, uh, slow the time down here. I am going to uh, fire the uh, fisherman here. Um, and then uh, over here, uh, builders, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's hire all the builders. Now, that should get things uh, moving along pretty quickly for uh, for constructing things. Uh, and that's uh, kind of what you want to do in the winter. You want to do your, your major construction projects in the winter. Uh, simply because uh, doing that, uh, when you have uh, workers available, you know, well, why not do it when you have workers available, right? Now, quite frankly, I've done uh, outside uh, construction work in cold weather, and it's quite miserable. Uh, but you know, these are obviously hardy Ukrainian uh, villagers here, so uh, yeah, they they can they can deal with this. It's uh, you know it's it's their thing, right? You know the uh, right, yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, you know they, you know. It's, it's a little bit less realistic than you might expect. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, so we haven't had a, another um, a family com come to town. Uh, and that's probably because of the uh, labor situation, right? Uh, and that's fine. Uh, uh, we, we'll probably get uh, get a couple come in the uh, in the uh, spring. I just want to have a few houses available so we can up tempo the uh, population quickly. Uh, and then uh, you know in the spring I'll hire the uh, fishermen back. And uh, you know let's let's take a look here. We've got two guys working in the smithy, one guy in the carpentry, which is enough. Uh, two guys in the forestry, which is apparently enough at the moment. Uh, we got one guy in the boatyard, someone in the thatchery, and we've got a manager here in the trading post. Uh, we can just about get to the point where we can have permanent uh, people assigned to the trading post, so uh, that'll be useful. It'll be one last bit of micromanagement. Uh, so we're going to get a second uh, house come online here. There we go. Uh, so now we've got uh, three houses available. Uh, I, you know, what I think I should be looking into here is... Uh, well, I should be looking into the uh, cow, uh, cow sheds, I think. Uh, yeah, cow sheds. Uh, so, production. Uh, now, a cow shed. Um, that's. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can build a cow shed. Um, I'm going to put the, uh, the cow shed over here. Whoops, that's the wrong way to rotate it. Uh, I really wish there was a uh, way to rotate things a little less uh, a little bit less uh, uh, you know rapidly uh, a little more finely uh, I'm sure that will come uh, you know like that this is being developed by one guy you know it's quite impressive um, I'm also gonna need um, I'm gonna need a hay dryer or 12. Uh, where am I going to put these? 
Well, I'm going to put them uh, over here. I don't know how many I need, but I'd rather have too much hay than not enough. And now, I also want, uh, what is it? Hay barrack. Oh, that's under storage, right? Uh, trade and transport. Hay barrack. Uh, it probably should be barracks, but, uh, you know, the guy's uh, Ukrainian, right? As far as I know, he's Ukrainian anyways. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, quite frankly, I don't actually care. Uh, you know, he's made a nice game here. And uh, even at, in its uh, obviously incomplete state, it's a nice game. Uh, so what we're going to do here, we're going to get the... Uh, the uh, I'm going to need another well up here. Uh, uh, for the uh, livestock. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, what, what, what was I uh, on about? Anyway, uh, yeah, the game is uh, incomplete and it's still an amazingly good game. So, uh, I'm, I'm not going to be too particularly annoyed if he get some of the English not quite so right, you know? You know, th that's actually just fine. Uh, right, so we're just coming up on the spring thaw here. Uh, so that means uh, I'm going to end up um, firing uh, uh, some of the workers here at the builders. Um, yeah, when the snow melts, uh, actually when the, uh, uh, when the uh, cow shed finishes, uh, I'll definitely fire most of the uh, builders because then we'll, uh, we'll have laborers for sowing the uh, fields. Ultimately, uh, I want to get, uh, get up to the point where we can have plows. Now, here we go. Here's the uh, snow melt. Uh, right, okay, so the cow shed is going up. And yeah, that should be just about done. And where are we at here? Right. Well, let's uh, drop the. Uh, builders down to two. Uh, we will ultimately want our fishermen back. Uh, the cow shed is just about up. Now we're not ready yet to uh, implement the cow shed, but uh, uh, oh, we have a messenger uh, offering metal parts, wheat and live chicken. Yeah, we don't uh, we don't have any anything we can trade there. Uh, we're going to remember to turn on use fallow field if available. Uh, and what are our higher options? We're going to hire women. Um, right. And we're going to maximize the uh, uh, the available. Uh, um, labor there uh, and that's going to uh, as soon as we get a trade offer where we can buy livestock and you buy cattle uh, then uh, we'll be able to uh, to feed them uh, but we won't have the uh, the hay yet until until the uh, uh, until the fall, so we won't be uh, buying any livestock until we can actually feed them, right? Uh, right, okay. Um, now, we have a bunch of houses available. Uh, I'm going to build another row of them here. Uh, and then we should be good for uh, house construction. Um, right, 
like that uh, for uh, a while. And uh, yeah, uh, the only reason I'm doing that is so that we have them available uh, when the uh, when the uh, population decides to come. Uh, and it gives us uh, a complete street here, basically, uh, which is kind of what I'm going for there. Uh, now, uh, we can see here that uh, the sewing is complete. So we've got uh, quite a lot of uh, labor available for doing things now. Uh, and this here, um, we have... Uh, definitely uh, need uh, we definitely need to uh, get uh, some hay uh, harvested here uh, but you know it's not mowing season yet that's uh, later in the year so yeah uh, meanwhile we've got uh, fishermen uh, fishing uh, we've obviously uh, oh oh right yeah uh, what we want to do here is store some stuff in the uh, in the uh, uh, um, what you call it here? So what I want to store is uh, well, we're going to store iron here, um, and uh, okay, do we? What do we? Yeah, we have iron stored in there. So, uh, so we'll we'll store two thousand iron. And uh, I might as well store a stack of uh, firewood. Uh, and uh, let's uh, store charcoal as well. No. Uh, no, we won't. Uh, well, let's uh, store um, wood here. We'll store a big, uh, big pile of that, and what else? Let's store some thatch. Okay, now how much thatch do we have sitting around here? Yeah, we have lots of that. So let's uh, let's store thatch here as well. And uh, yeah, what is our? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we don't have anyone looking for jobs, but let's hire some somebody to manage that place. Uh, right. Okay. Now, uh, I'm kind of hoping that uh, we're going to get uh, uh, we're going to get uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've got more uh, more people coming. So so that's good. Uh, right. And, uh, okay, yep, yeah, we're, uh, we're making hay. So, so that's good. Right. Uh, good. Uh, so we're, uh, okay, we've got, uh, more people coming in. Uh, so that's uh, that's definitely going to help the labor, uh, right? Yeah. See, here's a uh, wagon here with uh, a family arriving. Um, yeah. Now, how's this doing? Firewood, uh, fish. Uh, yeah, that seems to be okay. Yeah. Uh, good. Uh, so we've got uh, wheat, buckwheat. And potatoes, yeah. Okay, and we've got uh, hay that's just about uh, done, so we'll be able to uh, to get a uh, uh, get an initial set of cattle up and running. Uh, up, get them up and running, right? Uh, get them uh, situated as soon as we can buy some, uh, and that will uh, definitely. Uh, uh, be uh, beneficial. Uh, 
Yeah. So once the population's up more, I'll end up with another uh, farm, I suspect. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, just so you know, the uh, the cow shed doesn't have to be beside a farm. It just happens to be convenient uh, to put it there, uh, which is why I put it there. Uh, like, who knew? Uh, right. Uh, yeah. So we're getting to the point where the foresters will have to go a little bit further to uh, find trees. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, ultimately, though, we'll end up, you know, harvest a few more of these. Then we'll uh, plant a... Uh, a uh, and we'll, we'll set up an area to farm trees. Uh, that's something that was added with Alpha 2. Uh, as I recall, uh, it was uh, where you could basically add an area where you could farm trees. Uh, and that, uh, that was, that's actually kind of nice because then you don't end up deforesting your whole uh, plot here uh, while you're, uh, you're constructing your town. Oh, we've got a messenger. Um, we are offering salt, lime, metal part, sallow, dried fish. Wants wheat, shoes, and buckwheat. Yeah. Uh, sallow? Yeah, that could be okay. Uh, but is salt, lime... Yeah, maybe, but nah. Uh, I'm looking for a messenger that will uh, sell cattle, uh, which they're not currently doing. Okay, so we've got uh, four houses uh, available, no jobs. Uh, right. Uh, so what's the... Uh, we got seven people, so they can be laborers when it comes time for harvest. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Uh, the hay is just about ready to come in uh, again, because uh, we've got hay in the uh, hay barracks now. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so how's this doing? Okay, so we've got hay and uh, water in there. And so we're ready for our uh, livestock to arrive. So the idea is to get a bull and several cows. And then uh, doing that will allow us to breed cattle. And we can put up to 20 in each cow shed. And I foresee having four or five cow sheds ultimately. Uh, just because uh, then that gives us beef that can be eaten, you know, as the cattle age. And it gives us milk. And it also gives us a potential source of oxen so we can make plows and so on. Uh, and that uh, definitely uh, will be potentially beneficial. Uh, yeah, this is... But, you know, take a look at the graphics here. Doesn't that look, look wonderful? Like with the skybox and the... Uh, just the land, uh, landform, the trees... You know, and we can back up here. Uh, we can uh, we can look at our village from the distance. Yeah, you know, doesn't that just look look brilliant? Uh, right. Okay. Uh, in, enough uh, admiring our handiwork here and uh, the developer's handiwork, because quite frankly, the developer's done a brilliant job. Uh, you know, I think I might have said that. You know. Uh, anyway, uh, we're. Coming up on another year done, uh, and you know we're coming up into the fall, and uh, you know uh, that's that's probably enough for this one here. So we we're ready for cattle. Uh, we've got more living quarters. We've got some storage. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this the village is coming along nicely. Uh, ultimately, I definitely will need another farm, but we don't have enough people to support that yet. Uh, and we're going to want a uh, flour mill and, and so on before we, uh, before we get too far down the line, uh, just so we can process our wheat into uh, flour. Uh, and that will uh, count as food, a food uh, a source for the uh, villagers. Uh, 
And, uh, yeah. Yeah, because flour and milk uh, and sunflower oil. Yeah, we want to get all of those up on online. Okay, we've got harvest underway. Uh, we got a new family coming in. Uh, yeah, uh, so this is... Uh, this is doing uh, reasonably well. Uh, so I guess uh, what I want to do is build a, uh, where is it? Windmill. Yeah. So we'll put a uh, windmill uh, over here. Uh, yeah, because we, we definitely want a windmill so we can make flour. Uh, right. Uh, so uh, with that, uh, I'm going to call this the end of uh, the episode. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, if you guys keep watching this in the double digits, you know, uh, I'll have to keep making these. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know that this is uh, this is still early days. There's quite a while left in this uh, this particular playthrough. So uh, you know, come back uh, probably next week for the next part. And uh, you know, I guess I'll see you then.